Hey, I'm Dewey Thompson, and in this episode of Corporate Film School, we're going to dig into what we mean when we talk about authenticity as a production value in a video. Authenticity is one of the biggest buzzwords of the last few years, and it's often mentioned by viewers as the number one factor in a video's impact. The word has become, in my opinion, a kind of catch-all for the perception of many different values, including diversity, transparency, and relatability. But I think it comes down to who's telling the story and do I buy it? So when we say that a video should feel authentic, I think we mean that the story should feel like it comes from a real place told by real people. And by real, I think we mean the sense of people being themselves. I'm very real where it counts and that's inside and as far as the, my outlook on life and the way I care about people and the way I care about myself. Some markers of what might strike viewers as inauthentic include stilted, overly formal language, stiff, robotic presentation, and clearly fake, generic B-roll. Since it's often the case with corporate videos that you're relying on nervous, self-conscious people on camera and limited B-roll, making things feel real can be challenging which is why producers do what they can to sprinkle the flavor of authenticity on videos, like bacon bits on a salad. Bacos? Even better. Here's some production gimmicks that I consider to be some of those bacon bits of authenticity. Subjects looking at the camera for a kind of portrait moment, or capturing candid moments that show the subjects cracking up or making a face, a sense of what they're really like when they don't know or forget momentarily that they're being filmed, or pulling back and revealing the production apparatus around the filming, giving the viewer a brief sense of behind the scenes access. Okay, the bacon bits analogy is a little snarky. Corporate videos are typically as short as possible, and it is very difficult to get the sense of the real person in a quick soundbite. So producers need to add authenticity any way they can. But if the Charm Challenge CEO or the Deer in the Headlights CFO must tell the story, what's the most authentic telling that we can capture? Add the bacon bits if you need to, but at least try to get your subject to deliver some authenticity themselves. One of our clients found that by getting their CEO out of his office, sometimes even outdoors, he was much more relaxed on camera. And the unusual setting added an intriguing layer of interest for the audience. Of course, the teleprompter can also be the death of authenticity. And yet, if the exact words are important, and they often are, and of any length, then you better get your subject to embrace the prompter and make it real. What I think of as talking through the prompter to the audience. Authenticity isn't necessarily about improvising or telling jokes, but it is about being comfortable enough to talk to the camera in a normal human way, plus some urgency. And that's a skill that your presenters should learn. I remember being at the Just for Laughs Comedy Festival in Montreal years ago and seeing for the first time a stand-up comic do the same show two nights in a row. I could not believe, and was almost equally appalled at my naivete, that the charming, seemingly unconscious little verbal ticks and pauses were all performed exactly the same way the next night. The chihuahua is a dog for lazy people. You ain't even got to walk it. Just hold it out the window and squeak. In other words, authenticity can be learned. This is all absurdly easier said than done. I wish I could say that after more than a year of Zoom calls, we are better at addressing the camera. I mean, I think at least people are more familiar with what they look like on camera, but our ability to keep eyes on the lens, use our hands, and talk coherently and persuasively are sadly pretty much just as rare as ever. So first, you need to convince your subject, and this often becomes more difficult the more powerful they are, that delivering their story authentically is vital to how much impact it will eventually have. In other words, you can be authentic on camera if you're willing to work at it. Second, you have to open up some space around your shoot. Clear it of all unnecessary distractions, especially your subject's colleagues. And as I said, consider shooting out of the office or somewhere else unusual. And third, time. You may need lots of it to allow your subject to get comfortable with the camera and the weirdness of being filmed. 
Warm them up by getting them to tell a story about something else, something they're comfortable with. Consider turning what was going to be a monologue into a response to a question or a series of questions from you or an interviewer. And remember to shoot coverage so that you have lots of opportunities to cut and enable you to choose the answers and phrases that feel most authentic. Finally, sprinkle with authentic bacon bits if you have to. So, are you feeling this?